Hey everyone, I'm back and today I'm going to be working on this. It is a mystery puzzle based on the game Clue. Um, can't remember if I got it for my birthday or Christmas, but I haven't done anything with it. So I felt like doing a puzzle day. It's kind of a muggy, cold, wet day. Um, so I was like, today is a good day to do a puzzle. So um, I'm just going to pretty much do the puzzle and show you how I do a puzzle. And at the end, maybe we'll learn who the murderer is. <laughs> so the idea behind this puzzle is that you have a, your murder mystery and there's a guy and he's rich and he owns this big house and um, he has given his trust fund to a bunch of his friends pretty much. So he's broke and he invites them all to his house to try to get his money back and one of them kills him. And there's a story that goes along with it. And um, I'll go ahead and show you the box and all the goodies that come with it. This is how I organize everything. These are all my end pieces. And then just different shades of colors and I'll probably break them down as I'm working on them. I'm at the point now where I am gonna start making my Outline. So I'm going to put all the edge pieces together and I'll film a little bit and then show you it at the end. I also want to mention, I think that my um, in-laws might have done this before they gave it to me. Um, they give me their puzzles all the time that they've done because they're not going to do them again. And I love it because, hey, who doesn't like a free puzzle? So um, it was opened already, but they are pretty good about keeping all the pieces. So I'm not too worried. The other option is they might have gotten it like a Goodwill or something. And that's the case. I really hope all the pieces are there. But I'm betting um, that they found it at a store and that they solved it. And then they were like, Crystal would like that and send it to me. So I'm pretty excited either way. And if it's missing one piece, as long as it's not like the piece to tell me that I need for the clue, I'll be fine. And my outline is done and all the pieces are there so far. So I'm super happy. So now I gotta move on and start filling out the middle. Probably start with the blues because they're least of them. So there's only a couple little piles of blue, blue, blue. And then there's like pink stuff. And I'll be back. Before I start on the center, I just want to like let everyone know I have no picture to go by. I guess that's part of the fun of this puzzle. Like I literally have no idea what this is going to look like, which is I guess part of the point because otherwise you'd just be like, oh, there's the picture. There's whatever clues I need and that's the answer and then you'd be done. So I'm kind of excited to see what it's going to look like at the end. So 
smidge. What'd you do with my puzzle piece? I'm pretty sure I'm missing that piece. I don't know if it was missing to start with. Or smidge messed with it because she is obsessed with puzzles. Right? Hey. Hey, I'm back. It's day two of this puzzle. That's how long it took me to complete it. And I am tired. Um, and so now I'm going to switch over and start taking some notes about what the people did when they came home. And I'll show you how I set up my notes and I'll show you my puzzle really quick too. There it is. I never did find that piece. Hopefully I don't need it. Okay, so I'm back, and I'm probably wrong, but I have a guess. Um, <laughs> it probably makes no sense, and it's not based on logic. But everyone except for Mr. Green or Professor Green or whatever his name is, two of them said that they turned on the electric. And then two said the electric were already on. But nobody came in and saw a candle. And if he lit a candle and left it in the dark, then whoever came in after him would have seen a lit up candle. And he also said he couldn't find a kettle and there are two kettles in the kitchen. So that didn't seem very realistic to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the results and see if I'm right or wrong. So I was wrong, of course. And it's funny <laughs> why I was wrong because I did not look closely enough at the picture. And I'll show you what I looked at and what I thought it was. So this r behind the wine bottle, I wasn't paying enough attention and I didn't realize that this was an ice cube tray. For some reason I was thinking it was a butter dish because there's a biscuit and normally you have butter and biscuit. This is an ice cube tray. And so if I had realized there's an ice cube tray then maybe I would have gotten it, but I don't know. So the killer was Miss Scarlet because she made a cocktail. And if the power was off when she got there and she turned on the electricity, there would have been no ice. So she had to have arrived the last because she was able to make cocktail, which means that there was ice in the freezer. And she killed him and then she needed to make a drink to calm her nerves. So, yeah, I sucked. But it was fun. It was really hard to do it without having a picture to go by. Um... But it was cool. I would do it again. Maybe pay more attention to what's actually in the picture. So um, that's about it. Like, subscribe, share. Have a good day.